Over the last few months, I've been learning how to design digital patterns, drafting some samples, and finalizing my shacket. The shacket isn't anything new, we've all like seen it before, but I wanted to make my own literally from the start of making the physical pattern, making samples, and then having one to show for myself. So that's what this video is about. So let's start the journey off with me learning how to design patterns digitally using Clothe 3D. I feel like I learned so much. I just finished my class. The five days are done. The five, like it was like a crash course. So much knowledge. I feel so prepared to start doing stuff. I'm so excited right now. Like the possibilities within clothes just seem endless. And I have so many ideas in my head right now, of things I'm going to make. I wanted to learn how to design digital patterns because I just think it's more efficient and effective. You can physically see what it's gonna look like on your body type before it's even printed out. It's so precise, it's insane. My mind is going like a million miles per hour right now. This software is so good, it's so intuitive in the way they designed it and all. But like going from being a beginner beginner to then trying to design like a whole jacket, it's starting to be a little harder than I expected. I'm gonna continue this tomorrow. Once I had something I was satisfied with, I ordered my fabric. I ordered a nice wool fabric. So I got my fabric today and ordering online is kind of hard, okay? This isn't what I thought I was buying, the wool. Um, I saw gray in the title, okay? I did see it, but I thought they were confused. I didn't think I was a person who was confused. I thought they we're looking at the color wrong because on the website it looked more like a camel color to me like a grayish khaki so i'll just keep it i'll keep it um then i went on a little trip to new york and i saw so many things that i wanted but everything seemed so expensive even things that i would find at the thrift stores the price tags were like kind of overwhelming for a used item or i would go into these thrift stores and they were jam-packed with so many pieces that it was just it was too much to even look through and i couldn't i just couldn't do it i like thrifting in general but in new york it just felt like it was like a whole different level i used to think i was a pro but now I, I really don't think so anymore. New York like put me back into my spot, made me sit down and like, I, I was not ready to go thrifting in New York. I need more money and more time. Okay, so I'm back and I made quite a few adjustments to the pattern. I'm not sure if this is like technically super different, but I wanted to add something that I felt like I knew I could do that would add a little pizzazz to it. So Even though it's still not anything crazy, I just made a few little tweaks to make myself feel better. Like, you'll see. Then I quickly redid my pattern, printed it out, and went to work. You might be wondering what is this horrendous orange pinkish cheap looking fabric and this green vomit looking one as well. It's a bed sheet that I got from a thrift store. I like using bed sheets as my practice draft. It's really cheap and super efficient and it, it, it like it worked really well. As I continued working on my jacket, there was lots of ups and downs, sad times and better times. Like sewing something completely out of order, having to take it apart and do it again. Or running out of thread literally while I was in the middle of sewing something. Thank you. 
And then as I got closer to finishing and seeing the final full jacket come to life, I got super, super excited. There's just something really satisfying seeing your project go from start to finish. And the closer you get to being done with it, you're like really seeing it come to life and what it's gonna look like. It's been a really, really long time since I've sewn something from start to finish. So seeing this thing that I made from the beginning all the way come out to the end and me not stop, it took me a few months, honestly. It took me more months than it needed to, but knowing that I finished it, I'm proud of myself. I have the full digital pattern up on my website and my Etsy. You can go check it out there if you're interested in it. But all I wanna say is like going forward, let me know what types of sewing tutorials you guys would like to see. I'm probably gonna follow things that I think maybe that are kind of trendy or things that I just like in general. And if you have any good suggestions, I'm very open to it as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.